Fish, oh, fish on, fish on. Now then, I'm currently making my way into a town center to try to catch some of the monster fish that live there. Now I've been here once before, you might remember I had quite the fish, a massive perk, my first ever two five pound plus fish. I've since been told by a few people that as well as the perch getting really big in here, the pike also get huge, so that's the aim for today. Now the setup I'm using today is the Rigged and Ready Predator. Now this is a perfect pike fishing rod for my needs. Firstly, it's really compact, fits in this travel case, really sturdy. And the other good thing about it is it has two tips. The shorter tip gives a cast weight of 20 to 80 grams, perfect for the heavier lures you might want to use. And the longer tip casts 10 to 30. So with one setup, you got 10 all the way up to 80 grams. That is perfect for the angler on the move. Well, you can use a bait caster with this rod, but I'm going for a fixed spool today. The Rigged and Ready RR3000. It is a perfect fit for this setup. I'm using the 33 pound Rigged and Ready braid with this, just tying on my uh, Western wire trace, as you always should when you pike fishing. Quite a lot of different stuff to go at today. I am going to start with the slightly bigger things, I think, and then maybe move on to the smaller with the lighter tip if that doesn't work. I am going to kick things off though with the Western Swim. This is 53 gram golden ghost colour. I think this is. I got this in my Western Advent calendar and I've been so excited to use it ever since. So because I've never pike fished here before, I've chosen the Western Swim just because I've got a lot of confidence in it. And if you're fishing somewhere you've never been before, you definitely need confidence. Because of its nice and sort of steady back and forward action, you can fish it really slow too, which is very important in january well we've been fishing about half an hour we've not had anything just yet however the more we go we are getting into the more urban areas as you can see and that's where i'm a lot more hopeful that there's going to be some fish So I'm just making my way down now to the main base and I'm really excited about fishing this place because I had that really nice perch there. If there's plenty of perch, there's probably plenty of bait. And if there's plenty of bait, I imagine there'll be some pike. Well, that's the Western Swim gone to a snag. How very unfortunate. Well, that's the problem with fishing urban places. You do lose a lot of gear. I'm going to try not to let it get me down and see what else I've got in my box. Well, this is what I'm going for. The Savage Gear Lipped Foreplay. I do like these a lot, so hopefully it's going to get the job done for me today. I do love the action on these foreplays. I've not used one this small before, but there's a shopping trolley down there. I better watch out for that. Well, another swap. From the top one down to the bottom one, the Rapala X Rat Pito. Well, I'm at the main basin now, and I just made that change purely because the action on that four play required a bit too much speed, a bit more of a fast retrieve than I'm comfortable with at this time of year. So we've gone for a paddle tail. One eternity later. Well, I've been casting away and casting away for what feels like hours now without even seeing a fish. Not a follow or anything. It's starting to make me feel like the rumours aren't true and that there's no or not many pike in here. But I'm going to keep going just because I've got a feeling that something might just end up happening today. So absolutely nothing seems to be working today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dramatic action, swap over from the 20 to 80 gram tip to the 10 to 30 gram tip and use some smaller layers. As you can see, the water's very dirty, so I'm going for another Western swim in a much darker colour, again with the stripy pattern because there are a lot of perch in here. 
34 grams, so it'll work with this rod. I did get this in the advent calendar two years ago, I had, funnily enough. I could have probably used my 20 to 80 gram setup for this, but I did want to change just because you get a little more feel for what's going on when you're on the upper edge of your weight limit than when you're on the bottom of it. Fish, oh, fish on, fish on, yes, come on. First cast of that western swim, get in. Right, should have had my net ready, should have had my net ready, should have had my net ready. I can already tell everyone's going to be saying in the comments, you should have had your net ready. And I know I should have done, shouldn't I? Oh, steady on. It's not a giant fish, but I want it a lot. And we've got it in the net, come on. Got the fish just resting in the net down there. Going to get this unhooking mat nice and wet. Well, here we go. The first fish has taken its time to come. Unfortunately, it does have a little gill injury. I saw that on the way in, but um, don't like to see that. But what we do like to see is a fish on the bank. Come on, let's see if there's any big ones in there. Well, it is always a bit sad to see a pike with an injury, but it doesn't seem like it's stopping him from feeding. Off you go. Well, I'm really, really over the moon with that. I'm so pleased. Straight after changing from the 20 to 80 to the 10 to 30 gram configuration of the Predator rod, that plan just worked an absolute treat. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget, give that subscribe button a click if you want to see more videos. Oh, well, that's really reassuring to know that I've found a method that works. Now it's just, do I have enough time in the day to get through to one of the really big fish that apparently live here? I'm not sure. I think I got something on the bottom. Don't want to lose my second western swim of the day. I really don't. Oh well. Traffic cone. Could have called it. I would not have liked that happening twice to me in one day. <laughs> Well, what a tough day's fish, and I mean, it normally is when you're fishing somewhere for the first time for a certain species, but um, yeah, I'm gonna keep plowing on in the hope that I can get one more pike and then maybe try catch another big perch out this basin as it's getting dark. Yeah, I honestly thought that two pound, two ounce fish was a really big one that I caught last time, but apparently they get a lot bigger. Now that is something that I would absolutely love to see. Oh well, just making my way back to the car now, going to get the perch rod out and have a little dabble just in that same basin we were at before, just in the hope that we can catch another huge perch. And that is going to be the Rigged and Ready X5 Adventure with its lightest tip. And then the slightly smaller RR1000. We're going to spend the last sort of 45 minutes of daylight with the Predator Tackle exclusive colour Mollock Stick Flex. This is a really cool, really buoyant stick bait on a Ned rig. And hopefully we can have a repeat of last time. Well, unfortunately, we've run out of daylight and we didn't quite catch either the big perch or the big pike we came here for, but there will be a next time. As always, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you for the next one.